Hello, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today I have a quick project share for you. This is a cute little recipe album, and this is a design from Rosa Kelly of Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking. This is part of her One Hour to Craft series, and it is episode four, which I will link in the description box below. This album measures six and a half by nine, and it has a one and a half inch spine. The album is constructed out of chipboard and 110 pound cardstock. Um, I use the Recollections brand from Michaels. And to decorate my album, I chose this paper from Echo Park. It's called Country Kitchen by Stephen Duncan. And I just think it's so cute. I love the colors in this and uh, all of the patterns. It was a lot of fun to play with. For the cover, I used a lot of the cut aparts from the collection as well as some of the stickers. Uh, for instance, this is a cut apart from the collection that I backed on uh, black cardstock. And just to kind of make the image pop a little bit, um, same with this one. And I did decorate this up a little bit. I gave her a little blingy earring and I used some of my uh, sparkle pen. Um, to, you know, kind of create the illusion of steam coming out of the little pot that she's cooking in. Um, I also took a little bit of lace and gave her uh, a nice fabric lace collar. I'll show you a little bit closer on that so you can see the details. I also used this sticker from the collection, backed it on the black cardstock, and uh, just fussy cut it out. Um, this is a die, uh, just a scallop circle die from uh, my stash. Cut that out in silver uh, foil cardstock and uh, used a sticker from the collection to top that off. And then I also uh, gave these some dimension. I don't know if you can really see that from the side, but I backed this one and this one on some um, chipboard just to make them stand up a little bit, give them some dimension, and make the cover a little bit more interesting. I also uh, backed this uh, piece of patterned paper, um, again, onto some black cardstock, and then onto some silver uh, foil cardstock. And I just thought the shine was fun. It reminded me of, you know, stainless steel appliances or things you might see in the kitchen. Since the paper collection is so vintage looking, I went around the edges of all of my decorative paper as well as my images with some vintage photo distress oxide ink. Kind of give it um, a little bit of an aged look. We used this fun label paper to decorate the spine. And this beautiful floral paper for the back. This ribbon is just a satin ribbon from my stash. And I think this came out really cute. Let's take a peek inside. So over on the left here, we have a series of pockets um, that are perfect for recipe cards. I did not make my own recipe cards. I purchased these from Amazon and they were very inexpensive and I thought they worked well with this collection. Let's just slide right in. This bottom pocket is extra deep and the design of that is for the recipient to put uh, maybe recipes that they've printed out from the internet or something a little bit larger than uh, just a standard recipe card. Over here, I've used another cut apart from the collection, backed it on another piece of pattern paper, and then again onto some black cardstock and just glued that right on. I thought the image was really cute. Um, there's still enough room for the recipient to put a photo, and they could put a photo over here as well. And this opens up like this. Again, got some photo um, opportunities here. Another pocket with some recipe cards. Now, I've included two recipe cards in each pocket, but you could certainly fit more. Thought it'd be fun. You know, I put like two recipes to correspond with two pictures, maybe of the recipes or of people eating the food. And also behind here, there's room for another photo. 
and this flips over and you it kind of repeats different papers obviously but room for photos recipes you know you've got your pocket here and then as we close this up I'm gonna slide it over a bit because this opens this way and we've got the same kind of format room for photos um, pocket for recipes, a couple recipe cards. And then it opens again. And you've got another pocket here with, again, I've just used cut aparts from the collection or I even just cut out images from the patterned paper because there were some sheets that had larger images on them. Uh, more recipe cards, more room for photos. In the center section here, we have a waterfall feature, and this is just a cut apart from the collection. And I did modify the waterfall feature. I made mine pocket pages. So each of these pages houses two recipe cards. And my thought behind that was you could put a photo of each recipe contained within um, on each one of these. Say so one on the front, one on the back. You've, so you've got lots of space here for photos and recipes and then a nice space right here for another photo. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please remember to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Also, click the notification bell so that you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Until then, bye!